Right now on WBZ News, firefighters called to Pentucket High School today where 20 students had to be evacuated. Good evening, everyone. Ken McLeod with you on this Saturday night. Investigators are still trying to pinpoint the cause of that fire, but tell us that some students with the school's robotics club helped put it out. WBZ Samantha Cheney spent her day in West Newbury, where officials still aren't sure about having classes on Monday. Well, cleanup is underway here at the Pentucket Middle and High School as parents, students and staff members of this community. They await an official decision on whether they'll have school on Monday morning. As of right now, school officials, they tell us that that most likely won't be happening. As far as school on Monday, I, you know, I think we're still evaluating what is uh, possible for us to do as far as normal operation. Monday's classes are in jeopardy at the Pentucket Regional Middle and High School after chaos erupted Saturday afternoon. There was a 911 call placed to our dispatch center that there was an active fire in the building. Fire Chief Michael Dwyer says flames broke out inside of the school's auditorium. It looks accidental. They were uh, building some set props um, in the area of the stage and uh, we believe that that's what started the um, started the fire. Fortunately, we're told no one was injured, but around 20 students from the school's robotics team had to be evacuated. They smelled the smoke and investigated it and determined that there was an active fire. Officials say the students were the ones who called for help. Until it arrived, they found fire extinguishers. And uh, actively attempt to reduce the amount of um, fire damage to the to the stage area. So it is great to know um, that uh, our, our robotics team, number one, the kids were all safe. Uh, most importantly, they got out right away, uh, but they were able to sort of take swift action and, and help put out uh, the fire and, and likely really prevent uh, far more extensive damage. We're told there was no serious damage done to the building, but there was a significant amount of smoke. Officials say it will continue to be ventilated before students are able to return. Now, in order for school to resume as usual on Monday morning, we're told that health inspectors who are set to be coming out here to assess areas like the school's cafeteria located right next door to the auditorium where that fire happened, they'll have to give it the OK. School officials say that an official decision will be announced by Sunday evening. Here in West Newbury, I'm Samantha Cheney, WBZ News.